Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a 10 minute active body stretch. So it's gonna be head to toe. You can use this as a warm up or a cool down, or it can be an exercise unto itself. So let's get started. Okay guys, so for this workout or this stretch, we're gonna be doing 10 exercises for a minute each. So we'll roll right through them. All right, so exercise one. here we go. So the first one is just gonna be some neck and shoulder movement. So we're just gonna start with nodding our head. No, nice and slow over each shoulder. And then we're gonna switch to nodding yes. So controlled head back and down. Try to really feel all your muscles as you go through this motion. And then we're gonna look down at the armpits. Give a little armpit sniff a couple times. And then we're gonna roll the shoulders. We're gonna go back. A couple big movements. Kind of really feel again all the muscles you're moving and then we're gonna roll forward. Out, guys. One. Exercise two. Next is a star opener. So we're gonna start arms overhead, really open up that chest, come back to just right in front of your chest, and then we're gonna slowly work down. Really again, going through that full range. This will feel really good on those pecs, that upper back. When we're warming up or cooling down or being really purposeful with our movements. Good job, guys. We're staying light on our feet, slight bend in our knees, so don't lock out your legs. Good job, guys. All right, next one is a deep, deep squat to an overhead reach. So nice and deep in the squat, overhead reach. You can come up on your toes or not, but this is your chance to work on your squat motion. So really try to keep your chest up and then just go as far down as you can go. Ooh. Good job guys. Nice and controlled. And if you're doing this as a, well, a warm up, you can maybe go a little, with a little bit more pace, just cause that will get your heart rate going a little bit. Or if you're doing this as a workout, Job. Exercise four. Now we're gonna do a back lunge with a rotation. So we're going back and rotating towards that front leg to stretch out that back. And those hip flexors and quads. Again, if this is a cool down, you can really take your time, go through these motions. Feel really good on your back. That nice rotational stretch. Woo. Three, two, one. Exercise five. All right, now we're gonna do good mornings, which is gonna be hands behind your head, slight bend in your knees, and we're just going to set our butt back, keeping our back flat. This will really stretch out the hammies, glutes, calves. Remember we're having a slight bend in our knees, but you can 
walk your knees out for this one if you want. That will just stretch your hamstrings a little bit more, but make sure you still try to keep that flat back as you do this. You'll feel the difference. If you straighten your knees, you'll feel it more. Hammies, calves, if you bend your knees, a little bit more in the glute. Nice job. So now we're going to be on our hands and knees for the next one. And we're going to do that quadruped walk back. So for this one, I want you to try to keep a flat back as you sit back to really focus on opening up those hips. You can spread your knees out a little further as you go. You can change your foot position. You can put your legs out a little bit. You can put your legs in a little bit. It will change that internal, internal and external rotation of that hip joint. Nice job, guys. All right, we're back on our feet for the next one. We're gonna do a standing piriformis stretch. So cross one leg over the other. This is a test of your balance. So grab a chair, grab something to hold on if you're unbalanced. But we can either do it this way. I'll show you two ways to kind of cross the leg over top and just sit back into that. Or you can just stand, grab knee, foot, and pull it up to your chest, which is a little bit easier on the on balance, but I do want you to grab your knee and foot. Some people like doing this, which is okay, but if you have any type of knee pathology that, you know, knee pain or anything, that might be a little bit of torque on the knee. So I just like, which I do have a lot of knee issues. So I like grabbing knee and ankle to do this. Nice job. So the next one is a split stance. So we'll drop one leg back, not into a full squat, I mean back lunge. And then we're just gonna do an overhead reach this time. So this will really stretch out those lats, those lateral structures. And remember we're reaching up and over as we do this, not just collapsing into that side. Up and over. Nice job, you should be feeling really nice and loose at this point. We're, we've been working a lot of different structures. Three, two, one. Exercise nine. Nice job, now we're doing a standing quad stretch. So grab a quad on the same side and as you reach, Kind of also extend that hip so you grab the quad reach extend the hip a little bit i'll show you from the side so as you reach you're just going to squeeze your glute a little bit to give you a little bit of hip extension so that when you're stretching your quad you aren't just leaning through your back so grab that quad and then straightening that arm gives you gives your abs the cue to tighten up a little bit so that you're a little bit more stable through your core as you do this stretch. A lot of different ways to do a quad stretch. So if this is not the one for you, then just do the quad stretch that you like. You don't have to do it the way everybody else, you know, does it. Do what works better for your Three, body. Two, one. Exercise ten. Last one is jumping jacks. So if you're doing a cool down and you don't want to get your heart rate back up, just do these side movements, get nice big movements of the arms. If you're doing this as a warm up, get that heart rate going, do those jumping jacks. If this is your workout for the day, try to do those jumping jacks. 
just the last minute. If you have any shoulder issues, you can whew, do a front jack so that your arms don't have to go above your shoulders. This is also really great chest opener. All right, so that was 10 minute active body stretch. Whether you use it as a warm up, a cool down, you should feel really nice and loose right now and prepared for whatever you're about to do next. So comment below on things you guys wanna see in the future and come back to my page and we'll do some more. All right guys, bye.